Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Kathy, when you join me, please say hello. I am here. Can you hear me? Uh -oh. Okay, Barbara. Did I do something wrong, Kathy? I'm here, Barbara. Uh oh. Kathy's not here with me. I see her picture, but I don't hear her. Kathy, are you there? I am here loud and clear. Oh, I have to turn my uh, speakers on to be able to hear you. <laughs> well, the title of our little bit today is No Excuses. What do you think about that, Kathy? No Excuses. Oh, it's a great title, and there have been books and books written and articles about that, and it's such an important topic, and I think that's why it needs to be gone over again and again. Absolutely. Well, let me share a little bit about these no excuses. I believe that, first of all, I believe that uh, what gets in the way of a lot of people succeeding in network marketing or affiliate marketing is not necessarily choosing the right company. However, Kathy and I both know we chose the best affiliate marketing company and online marketing strategies that will teach you how to do video blogging and uh, email blogging, et cetera, et cetera. We chose the best. There's no others compared to ours. Ours is second to none. And we chose the Red Knight Network Marketing Company. And we're in the health and wellness uh, industry and we're in momentum. We are uh, secure in that we're less than, uh, I mean, we've covered the more than five years, but we're less than 100,000 distributors. So we're like a startup and we are absolutely in momentum. And we are, will be inter introducing a brand new product coming up real soon, maybe even in the next 30 days. But we're not here to talk about our personal network marketing company or even our affiliate marketing company. We're here to discuss no excuses. And I honestly believe, even though we have the best, that it's not so much the company as it is you. You are the missing link in the equation. It's who you are. It's not your age. It's not uh, where you live. It's not your children getting in the way. It's nothing other than you, what you choose to do, but you have to choose to do it with the right mindset, making no excuses for not being able to succeed in life. Uh, that is a problem with a lot of people. There's always an excuse. I'm too old. I'm too young. I have too many children. Uh, my day is full. And, and it's just, uh, you know, I don't know enough. I don't read fast enough. Whatever. I mean, it, but it's, uh, you can either make excuses or you can make money, but you cannot make both so it's your decision today and kathy and i are doing a call to action get started immediately and i suggest too i suggest getting both a network marketing company and an affiliate marketing company teaching online strategies techniques seo all that good stuff and moving forward and there's no time like right this second to do it. There's nothing about I'll do it in an hour. I'll do it in two hours. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. No, 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 no. You will never succeed in making those excuses, those reasons why you are not winning. So, Kathy, over to you and your take on no excuses. Well, Barbara, everything that you said covers the all the bases but my point that i want to bring up too is we've been talking in a couple of previous hangouts about attraction marketing and info marketing and being leaders we have to set the standard and 
we can all make excuses, you know, oh, I don't feel so good today. That's, that's a good one. I don't have enough energy. I've had excuses lately about I'm in the mountains of Panama and my internet isn't working very good. It keeps crashing and blah, blah, blah. Well, what did I as a leader decide to do about that excuse that I had? And it was a valid excuse. I could not get on the internet many times. Barbara will attest to that. We couldn't, we couldn't connect and make phone calls and do work together on our attraction and internet marketing. Well, I decided the heck with that excuse. We're going to take, we took a leap of faith to move to Panama thinking everything was going to be rosy. Well, it wasn't. So I'm not going to just make an excuse. We took a leap of faith and we're moving back to the United States where we can have pretty much guaranteed internet. So the point that I am making, life can get in the way. Different things can get in the way. And you can either use it as an excuse or you, and you can react, or you can do something about it. Like Barbara said, you can take action and overcome that excuse. And I think that is the most important thing, is that you take the action and overcome whatever it is that is getting in your way. So back Ab to you, Barbara. Absolutely, Kathy. I'm going to give a couple scenarios really quick, and then we're going to wind this no excuses up. Uh, when I became a top 1% income earner with uh, my company, uh, I uh, was faced with many challenges. Uh, many of you out there who know me personally know I have a drug-addicted daughter. Uh, she has given birth to five grandchildren. Um, well, five children, and I uh, am a grandmother of five with five grandchildren. She is also bipolar and possibly schizophrenic. She is homeless, walking around the streets of Merced barefoot. Um, but she oftentimes uh, rings my doorbell in the middle of the night, calls me in the middle of the night, disrupts my sleep. When at one point she was living in my home and I was working to, toward the 1% status, she would do such things. I was holding a uh, conference call, and I was speaking nationally, and uh, I was talking about flatlining it. Let your highs be low. Your, I mean, yeah, let your highs be low. Let your lows be high and have this even thing. Now, it was an interesting subject to be talking about when all of a sudden up behind me, surprisingly, I knew, did not know she was there, until she dumped the glass of ice water on me. Now, w what happened is I, I gave a little, ooh, and right with the next beat, I went on with my national conference call, letting no one know what just happened, and talking about flatlining. Um, I could have made excuses to all the surprises in the middle of the night and everything, but I made a decision, actually, to uh, get a restraining order, uh, take guardian of my granddaughter, and to move forward working on a daily basis. And so, you know, I know there's a lot of stories out there worse than mine. I know that. But the point being is when you have the no excuses uh, choice and decision making and you're going to do it no matter what, no matter what, you're going to do it, you too will succeed. And a lot of people say, well, I didn't choose the right company or I didn't choose the right upline. Uh, I am, like, again, too old, too young. I can't learn. I don't like internet marketing. I don't like the computer. You know what? At the end of the day, any excuse would do, and it only takes one. You don't even need 100 excuses. It just takes one. So you're either going to win or you're going to lose, and you're going to either do it with uh, the no excuses attitude or you're going to, you can either, like I said earlier, make excuses or make money but you can't do for both and even though my phones are going off right now i am still in the zone of talking to you and um was not necessarily prepared with my phone situation <laughs> but i'm still uh communicating and nodding let it the back get in the way so kathy back to you my friend 
Well, that was such a great live example, Barbara, of no excuses. You could have gone, and a lot of people would have liked to have made an excuse. Oh, my phone's ringing. I guess we're going to have to shut down this, this call or this hangout or gotten really frustrated. But a true leader, a true person that has achieved success like yourself, Barbara, and a true person that will continue to achieve success will not let those little, what I call little, even though sometimes they're big, excuses bother them. And Barbara, I know you've got a great project going on that you're almost finished with that's going to address this and lots of other great success and internet and marketing and mindset tips. And I know you're finishing a book called, and I love the title, How To's Are Not Enough. Can you, in closing, Barbara, just tell us a little bit about why you decided to write this book uh, and what we can look forward to in the future about it? Well, I'll tell you what, um, my life's dream has been to write a book. Now, I've obviously made a lot of excuses because I haven't written the book yet. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to write it uh, in spite of whatever. Good, bad, I'm writing it. Uh, I've made the decision. I've drawn the line in the sand, and I've taken action and got started. Now, even with that being said, I, on a kind of a day-to-day -day basis, I come up with excuses to not finish it. But you know what? Again, I redefine what's going on, and this book will be written. You can look. You can look forward to it. And Kathy asked me, "Why have I written it?" Well, I'm all about leaving a legacy for my granddaughter. And my legacy is not necessarily money. It's mindset. It's demonstrating leadership. And it's memories. I want to leave her a legacy of memories. Remember, guys, a lot of people think of a legacy being left and it's about money. You know what? At the end of the day, it's just green stuff on a piece of paper. And the memories and your accomplishments will live on forever. It is a way to stay alive even after death. And my other purpose is I love helping people. And it makes no sense to me to have a wealth of knowledge inside myself and not share it. I have things to give. I can be a contributor in society or not. That's my choice. I could make excuses. You know, I could say maybe I don't have enough to give. Maybe what I have to give is not good enough. You know what? That's all ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to move forward the, with the no excuses, and I hope you do too. So back to you, Kathy. We'll close out this call. Okay, Barbara. I think this has been a great call today to touch on some of those points that are going to be in your upcoming book, the how-tos are, are not enough. So look for future hangouts with future great topics on attraction marketing, info marketing, mindset, belief, determination, and more. So thank you, Barbara Williams, uh, for being on the hangout today. This is Kathy Jones signing until the next hangout. Absolutely. But you know what? I always forget to do this, Kathy. I can be found at barbarawilliams.net. That's barbarawilliams.net, N-E-T. And Kathy Jones can be found at whoiskathyjones.com. Whoiskathyjones.com. Please look for, for us on these uh, two uh, blog sites. And uh, you may just learn something. Who knows? Give it a try. Bye for now. From bye, a bit everyone. Of awesome. uh, what would you say, Kathy? I said bye, everyone, and I love to share tidbits of a bit of awesome. Absolutely. Bye for now.